Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. Hope everybody doing okay. Getting ready for holidays. It is Easter is coming. It is Passover, Ramadan. All everybody happy holidays and happy good days. What do you say? This be be good every day and and appreciate every day exactly so what am i going to do today is that i'm going to use our uh, multi uh multi steamer which is you could use as a steaming you could use as a steaming and you could use as a rice maker today i'm going to boil 12 eggs and steam it in a microwave so what I do I put uh, a 12 eggs 12 minutes I filled it up to the rim the water all the way and see this product which is this part no waves goes it is very hard I'm going to close it and put it in microwave to start with What I am planning to do is that to have it um, after the eggs are done. So tonight's dinner is, it's egg. I'm going to make some egg sandwich. And besides that, our dinner is pork chops. Ooh. I'm going to grill it our pork in our pork chop, which is you could casserole it or you could grill it. So I'm going to grill it five minutes and turn it another five minutes. This is going to go on. And another nice thing I'm going to have it tonight is uh, a vegetable. Uh, our vegetable is steamed in microwave with our stock cooker. As you could see, those are all a product that you save money and um, you save environment you save energy and what do we need it for Tupperware is for a home it's eating healthy organizing your life saving money saving environment what I done is that I I had it is already cooked I had uh, prepared it prepared it the uh, Eggplant, uh, eggplant, uh, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts, and I had two tomatoes. They're all in there. No water, nothing. That is a vegetable water. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to add my salad dressing. As you could see, you could purchase it a large one and put it in our in a small container. It's easy to squeeze it. What is it called? Condiment? It's, it's a condiment holder. Condiment holder. So what you do is, as you could see, you could squeeze it. And that's it. It is done. And then you could refill it. This is nice for um, ketchup. This is nice for, uh, you could buy it big. You know, a lot of times what we do these days is we buy it big and then you could store them individually like a mustard mayo um, uh, vinegar I have one in vinegar as well too and I'm just going so see the vegetable is done how easy it is very easy so those are done next thing what am I going to do is I'm going to put this here and put this here. Oh, bingo. And, uh, 
okay? Our power chef. I just wanted to show you guys, this is how I froze my strawberries. This is a new silicone bag that you could portionally put it in. And today I'm going to make a dessert with the strawberries. I put some here as well. And then add, add some sugar, powdered sugar, which is, and I'm going to use 35% cream. I'm going to put half of it. somebody's calling that is okay that is okay let me get the scissor and cut it yet another use for our Tupperware kitchen shears yes to cut it Sometimes it doesn't open the box. So I'm going to put half of this in there. Yeah. And a little bit of vanilla. And that's it. That is my recipe. Let me add some more strawberries. If I need more uh, strawberries, I could add it up. At least you know what you are eating. I will add more strawberries. I just wanted to start it to start uh, the, uh, at the beginning and then add it up. See now I wash this and restore it again. That's why you could reuse it. Our product is reusable product. wanted to taste and see check it out it is thick and you could put it in the freezer I could do more I could chop uh, and it gets thicker and thicker I will put a little bit more sugar. You know what? It was a half a cup of sugar. Measurement, hello, Ruth. No, but it was. I knew that it was only a half a cup there. And then add it up so this is going to be homemade strawberry ice cream yes homemade strawberry ice cream which like I said you could put it in uh, any containers or you could store it like this as you guys can see and whenever you feel like having a ice cream like usually it's good 
to have it in a half a cup capacity um, container, which is our snack cups. And I think I have it here in a freezer. Yep. See? You could prepare it a snack cup like this. This is a strawberry ice cream as well too. Check it out. Ready to go in a freezer. And then you could save money. Like I said, why do we need to use Tupperware? We use Tupperware for saving money and saving environment. Let me taste one more. This is a new spoon. And this time I take it fully. Uh-huh. Mmm. Heavenly. Like I mentioned, you could have a seal and put it in the freezer for future use. That is in a freezer. And I just wanted to come back for the pork chops. I had it those pork chops if this is our freezer container which I had it it comes a tree layer and this is the one left which you prepare ahead of time you freeze it I put this on top of it it will be e um, easy to take it up so this is the last portion of my freezing pork chop is in there which it goes in my ref uh, freezer as well Eggs. Micro microwave is ready. I'm going to make a popcorn in our popcorn maker. See, this is our popcorn maker. I'm going to put it in. Tupperware has a popcorn maker. Yes, and then I'm going to put it in here. Quarter cup only. Quarter cup. This is I purchased it five dollars and forty nine cents. Okay, and then you could get it. 10 bags, which is a, is a lot of garbage, 10 bags of popcorn, microwave popcorn popper for $5.99. Imagine the difference. What you do is that you just put this. I will show the picture after. And that's it. I didn't touch the top part. See, it will top, uh, pop every single one of them. And... Then you have a seal, you put it in. Is that a seal or a cover? Cover, sorry, cover. And that is it. So that will be online going on. One after the other, I will post the pictures at the end. Today, everything I have been doing it with microwave. And today is World Water Day. And doing lots of water. I just wanted to show you the different sizes that I posted it. Can you reach me and give me? Yep. We have two cups, which it comes a set of four. We have three cups. It comes, the colors are uh, different colors, various. I just put it for you guys to see the difference, the, uh, the sizes. This is three cup capacity. Then I have four cup capacity, which is one liter. Then I have a new, new, new hot from the oven. We have our uh, new water. That is your uh, water bottle, which is a two liter. And it, it, there is in there, you start 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. You drink this much water, easy to grab it. And here it says, and uh, it's two liters, one seven five zero. Uh, each one is a cups. How many cups? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to the top. 
it's eight cup easy to grab it take it anywhere you want to you could have it next to your office this is something new like i said it's easy to grab it okay so this is on um, this today is on while supplies last if you go online and you cannot find them let me know i could see what i could do okay and while the eggs are done let me pop the popcorn before i start cooking the meat How much time did you set it for? I put it two two minutes forty five seconds. And what power? Uh, high. You could change it. My my microwave is this microwave is very old, at least fifteen years old microwave, which is. And then I just wanted to show you guys. This is how it looks okay perfect what then you do is what do i do i put out cold water And then give a shock. Can you hear the popping? It's supposed to be I hear the popcorn popping yeah and I just wanted to show you guys one of them how does it look Has anybody invented uh, an easy way to to get the shell off the egg? Yes, uh, I know somebody had posted something from uh, our Tupperware group people. But the the best thing is that put it on a ice uh, water, and uh, it gets nice and okay. And I just wanted to show you guys. How nice and beautiful Ooh. yellow it is usually when you have a boiled egg if I had let it say stay longer it will be uh, more uh, harder but uh, see around it there is no gray color with this when you do it you don't get any gray color and let me see if it the eggs taste good you want to know if the egg tastes good yes Cheers. Mm. Mm, okay. Not bad. Oh, just, yeah. just okay? Oh, it's very good. I have to taste it again. Oh. Cheers. Mm. I love boiled eggs. Let me do the reveal. See? 
Let's see if there is any not pop. Oh, I see one, two. So you're doing that to get rid of the unpopped kernels yes. before you put everything in the bowl? Yes. Okay. I just had three here. Okay, so let's get them out of the bowl. Check it out. Now you could taste it if you want, Donald. <laughs> Check the pop-up. This is a popcorn. And see? It's nice and easy to clean. Easy to clean. And let me put my pork chops. Five minutes. And uh, and that's it. Check it out. I'm going to put some parsley in here. When I put my parsley in uh, my vegetable keepers. But when I cut it, I put it like this here. To make sure that, because parsley doesn't need humidity. And this is done too. So. So this is the vegetables. Let me see this one. It needs a little bit more. All done. So, this is vegetable, popcorn, ice cream, and eggs and eggs. pork chops. And pork chop. And when did I, how many minutes did I do? I don't know. Uh, but you guys know it. And don't forget to check the my webpage. The specials, uh, we have, uh, like I said, water bottles are just announced it today, the specials. We have a bowl set, it's going on, the bowl sets there. And uh, as you guys could see, the silicones that I used it, and I have uh, different sizes as well too. So I have a little bit bigger one as well. Easy, easy breezy. Then we have this kind of a silicone, you know, those are very, very good and practical. Depends, you could freeze it your, um, what can you freeze? You could freeze your uh, pork chop, vegetables, or marinate it and put it in. And yeah, we have different sizes, as I said. So, my, my name is Ruth and my webpage is ruthdd.ca. Come and join my winning team. Yeah, I'm coming to you from downtown Toronto. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I said, what's my webpage? RuthDD.ca Thank you very much. Meanwhile, have a fantastic day. Bye now.